Okay guys, in today's video we're going over Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Is it really worth the money? Okay, so the first thing is COD 4, when I think of it, I just I get this funny feeling in my stomach like it's the game I used to run home for from school and play. Like I used to love this game. This was the Call of Duty. It's basically the Call of Duty. World at War was good, but this one was just the original. It was the boss. It was the first Call of Duty online game that I got when I got my PS3 like way back when it was like one of the first games I got on there as well so when I think of it I'm thinking I need this game it was the best when I was playing it so much fun I will pay whatever for it but obviously not stupid amount so like you can see on the screen here I've got the PlayStation store up and there's like three different versions of it, Infinite Warfare because you have to get that to play it and basically I have like there's two versions that give you it there's one for £80 and one for 95 one you get the season pass, one you don't. So basically for for like eighty pounds or I think you can get it for seventy pounds online, like the physical copy. Like seventy pounds isn't too bad if you look at it as I'm getting the new Call of Duty and I'm getting the old one that I'm gonna probably be playing more to be honest. But I know a lot of people are looking at it saying, I don't want Infinite Warfare, I want to get COD four and then Infinite Warfare's looking like the kind of add on game that no one really wants to play, but COD four's the kind of thing they might as well be selling COD for with add-on of Infinite Warfare to be honest but you know for, for 70 pounds like physical copy uh, you know I would get it but I can understand where a lot of people don't have a lot of money or they got to wait till birthdays or Christmas to get it like I would recommend waiting and getting the 70 pound one but for me I'm probably going to be getting the 95 pound one because I know for a fact they are going to end up throwing on like a COD for like DLC map into each one or something like that. I know that's going to end up happening. Or a lot of you guys are probably thinking, I'm just not even going to get Infinite Warfare. I'm going to wait until they release it single and I can just download Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Now, I don't know if they're going to do that, how long they how long they'd take to end up doing that. But even if they end up doing that, you know, you're going to be waiting a little bit longer than basically a couple of months that this game's going to end up taking to come out from when I've posted this video. So, you know, it's a bit of a wait and... You know, I just, I really, I want this game, like, basically as soon as. So, for £95, for me, it is a lot of money still. And I probably won't even be playing Infinite Warfare. But just for the season pass, because I know for a fact they're not going to, I know for a fact they're going to end up bringing out, like, map packs for it and stuff like that. Not not massive map packs like they did for the original game. Like, six maps or five maps, whatever it was. They probably just throw on, like, one additional map per, like, map pack they do. Per, like, zombie map. Like, how they kind of do zombie maps, like, stuff like that. But for £95, I'm probably going to end up getting that one. It is a lot of money. I probably wouldn't recommend it to people. But for the season pass and for what I'm going to end up doing, I'm not end up paying £95. So what I end up doing is buying it the digital version. And then I share my account with my friend. So we end up paying like half of that. So I'm basically looking at it's about £47.50 for basically Infinite Warfare, the season pass and Call of Duty 4. So that's basically the game for half price. I'm getting all of that for that much. So for that, that isn't too bad because the game retailing, basically just the normal edition of Infinite Warfare without COD 4 or the season pass is probably about £45, £40, something like that. So guys, that's what I'm going to end up doing. If you, I'm going to have a video up saying about how you can get this half price and a little video showing you how you can do it. So stay tuned for that one. But if you're looking at just physical copies of the game, for like... I'll have a couple links up on the page. You can get it for £95. I know Game in the UK are selling it for about 100 and, I think 105 115 I can't really remember. But I will have two links down below for GameStop. Uh, they're selling it for about £95 for the physical copy. So I don't actually know if Sony have made like a mess up on their PlayStation Store selling it for £95. So, yeah, I don't really know. But for £95, but for what I'm doing, basically half in the price sharing it with my friend. I'll do a video of that so you guys can do that if you want. So stay tuned for that on the video. So basically for £47, that's a real good price for me, to be honest, for getting it. And I'm not going to complain at that because I'm basically getting two games and a season pass for £47, which isn't too bad. But yeah, these two links on the screen right now that you'll see, there's one for £95 if you're going to get it individually, which, you know, it, for £95 for a game that you really don't want, you really want the add-on one, which is a remastered version of an old game that you used to play. It is a lot of money, to be honest. So, for me, COD 4, what is it worth? I don't know. Somewhere around about...
the 25 to 30 mark because the game on its own is so solid it's just a really good game and the videos that i've seen people are saying it's not been changed like that much i've heard people moan about like the headshot the little headshot symbol and the audio files like they've changed like the desert eagle doesn't really sound the same or the snipers don't sound the same like a lot of the guns basically don't sound the same and people are moaning about it but if you're going to moan about the littlest things when people are giving you what you've asked for for long you're just you, you're not going to be able to have nice things that's basically it if you're going to moan about the littlest things and they've they've basically remastered the game that everyone's asked for and you just you know it's there's no point to be honest and to be honest if they wanted to they could patch it, it could, Easily enough, they could just change that file, that uh, like headshot image, and import the new one. And same for the audio files. But you know, if if that's what they want to do, and the game's going to play the same, be the same, run the same, and feel the same, you might as well just go about go about not moaning. Because otherwise, that, that's why people can't have nice things if you're going to moan about that, the, the smallest little things like that. I understand you want the game to be original as it was, but you know, you can't keep moaning if they're giving you the game that you've always been asking for, just mind the little things like audio files and and one little image. So, you know. But yeah guys, the price I know I've babbled on and everything. The price for it for COD four for ninety pounds. Because I have a second link on there that's about I think it's like a couple pennies under ninety pounds. I personally I haven't ever used that site so you can use it if you want, but I would recommend GameStop for an extra fiver. I know they're they're a really good uh, distributor as well, so you can go ahead and get it off them. Feel free to do that. But as I said, stay tuned for that video where you can get these for half price. And I think the Legacy Edition in the shops is about £70, so that's that's decent, to be honest. And then again, with the DLC, I don't know if that'll work. Um, what I was thinking is that if you bought the Legacy Edition, because it's going to be a downloadable game, maybe you could share that with your friend and go half on the a physical legacy edition but then i think they're going to use it as um if you didn't have ghost if you bought ghost on a ps3 when they made you upgrade it you had to use the cd as a key to play the game that you downloaded so basically you had to you would download you would pay 10 pounds for your ps3 disc to go into your playstation 4 and then you download ghost and then you couldn't play ghost even though you had it downloaded you would have to put the ps3 cd in and download it like that so yeah i think I think that's what they probably do with Infinite Warfare, but if you go ahead and go on the PlayStation Store, you'll see these prices that are on the screen now. Basically, eighty pounds. If you split that with a friend, that's forty pounds. But if you want the extra season pass, that's an extra like seven pounds each. I think the season pass will end up going for about thirty pounds or something like that. Anyway, so for me, if you half it with a friend, it's a pretty good price for what you're going to be getting. Like two games and a season pass is pretty good. But you know, guys, it's all up to you, really. Like for me, I think it's a fair price if you half it. <laughs> But if for standalone ninety five pounds for basically what I want is Call of Duty Four Remastered, and it really is for me. I don't like saying it, it isn't really worth ninety five pounds, and it isn't worth seventy quid to be honest to me. Just Call of Duty Four. If it was by itself, probably about thirty pounds, twenty five pounds I pay. Like I don't want to sound cheap or anything, but that game I used to love that game, but I'm not paying silly amounts of money just to get it. So that's why I go half. And if you guys want to see how you go half on the on the PlayStation Online games, um, drop a like on the video, let me know in the comments that you want to know, and I will do that video for you guys. So, as always guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, I didn't babble on, I probably did, because I always do that in all my videos. Um, so yeah guys, if you enjoyed it, drop a like, comment down below if you want to know about that um, half-price PlayStation Store games, and as always, have a great day.